Peace, peace, peace and love, everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, I didn't see y'all over there. <laughs> y'all in the building already. What's good? What's good? We're going to let a few more people get in. Y'all see what the captions say. I know when that hotline bling. That could only mean one thing. One thing. The cashier is on the line. And I want to reach out to y'all. I want to hear from you because... I want to hear what you got to say. I left y'all with a quest from the last live a few hours ago. And I asked y'all a question about somebody. And I want to see who's wise, man. I'm going to open up the lines today. I ain't going to be on here too long. And I don't want to talk that much today. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from y'all. The phone lines are open. And the question is... Who is John Brown? Anybody in the world can answer this question. I asked y'all to Google it, but it was something special that I was going to do for the people who could tell me the most information about John Brown. The most specific information about Mr. John Brown. I kind of told you a little bit already, and I shouldn't have, but I'm still going to be fair. Whoever call in, and let me know who is John Brown in a manner that lets me know you did your research. I got something special for you and every one of you. If you haven't right already, hit the like button, man. Everybody in the building right now who's rocking with Team No Cash, IKC TV, please look down at your phone and hit the like button for me, please. Do y'all love me? You hit the like button, all right? I'm going to give y'all the number and then... I want everybody to go ahead and call in and tell me who is John Brown if you know. Don't call in to play games. We about to really get down to business and get this dialogue. Hit that like button now. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, please, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. And make sure that you turn on your notifications bells. It's up there in the top up there, right there. It says all. Turn it on all so you'll be notified whenever I'm going live, like now, or whenever I'm putting up some content. Well, I didn't get a chance to give the number out yet. I give the number out to the people who don't have it after I answer the line right here. And Shalanda no cash. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. Okay, we got... To accept, oops, your caller just hung up. Goodbye. Okay, well, I just answered the phone for you, but you hung up. It's all good. Anyway, the number is... 919-391-0072. The hotline bling is 919-391-0072. Call in and let me know who is John Brown. Let me know. I got something special for whoever can come up with the most information about who is John Brown. Because I'm going to tell y'all, this is a... This is something that we all need to know. It's history, but it's what we all need to know. And if we don't know history, if we don't remember what we've been through, it can repeat itself. So, the lines are open, and I'm waiting on a caller to tell me who is John Brown.
I know and that I lie bling. That could only mean one thing. Let me see if y'all got the number. Give y'all the number one more time. Nine one nine three nine one zero zero seven two. The phone lines are open. You know what? It's crazy. Nobody did their homework. And I was in a giving mood. I was going to give. Hold on. Hold on. To accept, press 1. To send a voicemail, press 2. You didn't say your name, so I'm going to hang up. Accept, Leave one. your name. To send a voicemail, oh, I hung up on the person that was calling. Call back, caller. I'm sorry. I'm hanging up on that caller because they didn't leave their name. Call in again. My bad. I didn't mean to hang up on the other caller that was calling. Call in again. I'm sorry. The phone lines are open. Who is John Brown? I'm waiting. I know when the hotline bling. That could only mean one thing. Y'all better bling this line. I ain't got all day. Let me turn the AC on. Good boys, get out of here. That sun is blinging. I know when that hot sun bling. <laughs> that could only mean one thing. Okay. Caller coming in. Erica. To accept, press 1. Hello, it's the homie No Cash, the one and only. You on the line right now, caller? What's your name? Hello. Hey, Miss Erica Oh, okay. And Miss Erica, the next time I'm not going to answer if you don't say your name on the phone call. I didn't hear the name. I, it sounded like you said it, but I couldn't hear I it. Did. I did. I said Erica. Oh, and I couldn't hear it, but I, that's why I answered it. Hold on one second. Hold on one quick second. Accept. Press one. Oh, you did. He ain't saying no name. Let me get back to Erica. Peace and love, Miss Erica. How you doing? I'm good. How are you good? I'm doing pretty good. You got to an answer for us online right now. Who is John Brown? Yeah, wasn't wasn't he uh, like an activist? He like a, a, a abolish that or trying to abolish slavery? Yep. Yep. He sure was, and, and that's all. That's all the research you pulled up on him. Um, no, that's what I know about him. I haven't like, like. Oh, okay. So you already knew that. You already knew that. You didn't do no research. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. You yeah. didn't, hold on one quick second. Call from Mike. To accept, press one. To send a voice. Hello, caller. It's the homie No Cash, and you live on the air. What's your name? My name is Mike. What's going on, No Cash? Peace and love. What's going on, Mr. Mike? Let me ask you a question. Do you got the answer for me? Who is John Brown? I'm looking at it. I had to Google it myself. I say ain't nobody going to look. Man, ain't going to call me, so I'm going to try it. I know that's right. Look here. So what you pulled up, brother? Hey, man, he major. Uh, he's, he's saying right here. Read it for me. Read it for me. Listen, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you by the phone because I want them to hear what you just called in to say to me. Since you did what you're supposed to do and pulled it up, come on. Okay, it say John Brown was a leading figure in the abolition movement in the pre-Civil War United States. It say up your bone. Also known for involvement in the bleeding Kansas raid on Federal Armory in Harper's Ferry, Virginia. Uh, That's all it says. It nah, it says a whole lot of stuff about this man. Come on, man, give me a little bit more information. Get to that good stuff. Uh, nah. And let me tell y'all, this man is a white, well, a Caucasian man. Yeah, yeah, he's Caucasian. And him and his sons fought on the front line for the freedom of slaves. So I'm just trying to let you know. All Caucasian people ain't 
bad and ain't racist. You see? And that's the point I'm trying I'm striving to prove, brother. What you say your name is again? My name is Michael, man. Michael, I appreciate I appreciate you for calling in and taking your time to do that. But what I would like for you to do now is if you on the live with us, comment your cash app in the live and um I'm going to look out for you, brother, for for what you did, all right? Okay, I appreciate it. You know it, and I appreciate you. Tell somebody about the channel, man. And if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure that you do and help push the movement out, man, because the best is yet to come. You know what it is? Yeah, I got you. All right, fam. Keep in touch, and you and make sure you leave your comment in the in the live section with your um with your cash app. Okay, I got you. All right, brother. Peace. I'm, I'm, doing, it. I'm doing it right now. All right, man. Peace and love, and nice to talk with you. Same to you, man. I'm gonna stay watching you now. You do that. You do that. All right, Erica, I'm back. I, okay. I'm i sorry for that, but I had to get another call in real fast because I know they was calling with an answer. Is there anybody else that can call in with some information about John Brown? I am got the lines open. Mrs. Erica, I appreciate your call too. You was the first person to call in with the name, with, with, with some information. And I'm going to do something special for you. You comment your, um, you comment your cash out in the comment section and I'm going to do something special for you too. Hello? Okay. All right. You you're, you're, you're a little, a little, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. A little bit of I'll Be John Brown song. I, I just might do that. All right, let me get back to the lines and, and let the next caller come in, but that sounds like a, that might be a good idea. I might, I don't know, just hold tight. We'll see what we can do. Okay, Ben, you have yourself a good day. All right, you too. Peace and love. Okay. All right, the phone lines are open. Uh-oh, we had a bunch of people calling in. I'm sorry, I see uh, I see the voicemail messages. They open now, call in. What the hell's going on in my head? Oh. I know and now I'm bling. Who is John Brown? I wish I had a Caucasian cashier to call in. I really wish I did. Because it hit different. When you hear this from a Caucasian. But I don't mind who calling in right now. The phone lines are open. I'm going to give y'all the number one more time. Before I get up out of here. And I'm going to get the cash out, bro. I got you. Erica, I got you. Once again, the phone line. The hotline blank number is 919-391-0072. Once again, that's 919 Three nine one zero zero seven two. Phone lines are open. Momentarily, because I'm about to get on up out of here since we don't got much action going on today. I just kind of wanted to drop a little build on y'all about who John Brown was, and I didn't want to drop the build. I wanted to hear from you guys, right? Y'all always hearing me talk and break down what I know, and you know it's good to talk and and to share what you know. But it's even better to hear what others know, you know, so we can share and reflect from one to another. And um, let me look at some of the comments real fast. I've heard that name before because you did a song called John Brown, but don't know who he is and who he was. But I'm here to learn more about him. That's what's up, brother. Do your own research, too. Don't take my word for it. Don't take our word for it here do your own research and we wanted to hear from you too shouts out to Eldridge I have called well Esther uh, Dewberry if you call twice you can call back again the phone lines are open slavery in the United States born May 9th 18 buried historic site Lair Gator called twice Okay, okay. I get along with anyone. It's called respect. Okay, that's what's up. Money bags, bagger boy. Okay, I got you, bro. I see you cash out. American abolitionist of the 19th century. Kendra Brown, that's what's up. That's what's up.
So, okay. Ain't nobody going to call in. Y'all don't want to kick it. We don't want to talk about nothing educational today. Y'all just, y'all want to talk. Y'all just want me to open up the phone lines, ain't it? Y'all want me to sing. But see, this is why I don't sing much because, you know, singing is like the pacifier. Singing is like candy. You know, we got to, we got to get some food in the community, man. We got to do something for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's all fun and dandy. It's all fine and dandy to laugh and, 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 and sing and dance. But man, sometimes we gotta learn and, 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 and enlighten ourselves. You know, each one, reach one, and teach one. And so sometimes that's just what I be wanting to do, especially when all people want is the candy. You know, I get tired. I get tired of the sweet stuff. I want some nutrition. I want nourishment. You feel me? So on that note, um, I'm gonna get on up out of here because ain't nobody calling in on the phone lines. But Erica say, do a little bit of John Brown for y'all. And since she's been acting asking me to sing for the longest and I wasn't in the mood I'm gonna do a little bit of that for her so y'all can hear a little bit of it but go check the videos out I got them up I performed John Brown at my high school Wilson high school shouts out to Wilson high school I'm a model um uh oh we gotta call her hold on one second we gotta call her y'all um I'm just to accept, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. Press one. Peace and love. Uh, I'm the homie no cash caller. You on the air? Who are you? I'm the homie no cash. Say it again. Amanda, how you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. And yourself? How how you, Amanda? I'm doing wonderful. So I'm listen. So glad I'm so glad that God. Blessing you and blessing you. I know that's right. Keep me in your prayers. someone who joined the abolitionist movement and was a part of the Underground Railroad. I'm happy to watch Love Train. 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 And I'm gonna look out for you too because that that's dope right there. You got you came up with a little more information than the others. And I look, I I love information. I love educating people because here's the thing. My best friend who's running for mayor, his name is uh Brian Braddock. And um, you know, when I met him three years ago, he was not running for no mayor, man. Me and him was just struggling with life and figuring things. I was struggling, he was helping me and figuring things out. Now he's running for mayor, and just the other day he sat with me and told me as a white man, a Caucasian man, I'm sorry. He said, brother, here I am all my life. I'm 44 years old, he said, and I never knew about um, Juneteenth. He was like, you told, you was the first person told me about Juneteenth last year. I was like, wow. So the same that he don't know, they don't know our history, the good things. We don't know their history, the good people. And it's because everybody ain't taking their time to research and be educated. And people leaning on false knowledge. and fa It's like feelings and emotions. And we're looking at this. Everybody don't want to be educated about it. And the, the truth of the matter is, in order to deal with these racism and prejudice situations that we're going through, everybody is going to have to go back to the roots, to the beginning of all of this. And, and, and the thing is, nobody wants to go there because it gets ugly. It's sort of like me dealing with the ugliness of my mother which y'all see me putting those little videos up or me dealing with the adversities of homelessness most people don't want to deal with those kind of things you know they want to just put them on the back burner or act like they're going to fix themselves and it's not it's only going to get worse and so i feel like by educating people and providing more dialogue and more information about things it can enlighten us more so therefore we can do better because when you know better, you can do better. So, you know, I, I appreciate you for calling in. And um, make sure you leave your your um, your cash app in the comment section. I'm going to look out for you. And all y'all, pay attention, man, because what's going on in our world right now is very serious. And I ain't just talking about the C-word pandemic and the the, the, the the coronavirus and all that old stuff. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about some more stuff. But y'all got to pay attention because we got a whole lot of distractions going on. 
You know, everybody thinking it's all fun and games until shit hit the fan. And I, and I ain't trying to scare nobody. I'm just warning us to be precautious because warning comes before destruction. And there's some craziness going on. It's a crazy mystic going on in the air. And I want y'all to be attentive. All right. So I just, I'm glad you called in. Thank you for being a cashier. And let me know when you put your cash app up there so I know who you are. Okay, my sister wanna tell you something, cause I'll be sharing. I don't care, I'll share them. But oh. they wanna hear it or not. Okay, let me let me hear what your sister got to say. I heard you said about um it is it is big bigger than this pandemic. This is more spiritual. It goes back to um r really the Solomon Gomorrah, but it goes back to Pharaoh. This is the plague that's going on right now. You right. Go ahead. Hello? I'm listening. I'm listening. Go yeah. ahead. I'm listening. It, it, yes, but it, um, and you're right. His name is Yahushua, and there is power in his name. Okay. So I just wanted to share that because I heard what you said. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, and I appreciate your bill. You keep um tune in to the um, movement. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and share the channel with your people, man. Put the word out because I'm telling y'all right now, it seems like it's just fun and games and, you know, it's all, you know, we playing, but no, we not playing. And I promise y'all a year of this, all of y'all going to be surprised and we're going to be connected. So thank you very much, man. I appreciate you and your sister. Y'all be good. Peace and love. Wow. That's what's up. I think that was dope. I think that deserves... For me to do what Erica asked to do for y'all. It's a song I wrote as a tribute to Mr. John Brown. Because when I found out, me myself, I didn't know. I knew that there was good white people that was a part of the Underground Railroad. And that was the only reason why a lot of the slaves were able to be free. But I didn't know who they were. You know, it ain't like they got a rally of people nowadays that they can say, yeah, you know, they, they rally and saying, we are the Caucasians that don't, that don't, that, you know, that we're against slavery. They're not doing that. So you don't know. And I'm like, wow, well, who were they? It's good that they did that, but who were they? And when I went and did my own research, man, I found others, but John Brown, that man was so bad. When people say, I'll be John Brown, you know what they be meaning? Like over my dead body, like John Brown didn't play. When they say, I'll be John Brown, you're like, you ain't going to play with me. I do what John Brown did because I'm going to stand on mine. That's what they meant. I was like, wow, man, this man was so much of a, you know, he, he just was a man of prestige, honor. You know, he, he was a man of righteousness. And it don't matter what color you are, your actions are going to determine your character, not your talk. See, my brother Brian told me, your talk talks and your walk talks, but your walk talks louder than your talk talk. I'm going to say it again. Your talk talk and your walk talk. But your walk talks louder than your talk talk. And remember that. Walk it like you talking. Walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Hey, walk it like I talk it. Because talk is cheap. Really? Shouts out to the Migos. But yeah, on that note, I'm going to get on up out of here, man. I ain't going to keep talking to y'all to death. But I really want y'all to do some research on your own. I really want us to be enlightened. I want a, a better environment, a society, and a better world for us. But it's going to take all of us. One man can spark the change. But it's going to take all of us collectively working together to make a difference. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you turn on your notifications bells. I'm going to hit y'all with a little bit of a song that I wrote called I'll Be John Brown. It has a line dance to it. We're going to teach y'all that someday real soon. I'm going to put it back out. And we all going to learn it in the community and we're going to dance and have fun and be merry. But we're going to be smart too. And we're going to be attentive. And we're going to stay alert. And be precautious. And stay prepared. Because stay ready ain't got to get ready. And that's all I'm going to say. The song be like Oh, look at here, look at here now. Come on, get it in gear now. Beyond nose and kicked in the door. Giving you a little something you can feel now. You at the bar, put your beard on. And if you got a chair, don't sit down. Let yourself go. Get on the floor. Have a little fun. Let your legs kick round. Little kids do it in the street. And man, the ladies make it look sweet. All right, they say that this, that fire. 
Cause they know I'm bringing the heat See, you really gotta move your feet And you gotta, gotta keep up with the beat This dance is so unique I bet you can't do it like me Well, I'll be John Brown Hey, they doing the John Brown Everybody around town's doing the John Brown I'll be John Brown Look at how it's going down Everybody around town's doing the John Brown I ain't never been the type to be crabbing in Huh, I done made a little dough on the back street of tackle it trapping man Huh, so don't think that I'm slow cause I'm out just singing and dancing Uh, I don't let the game blow I ain't gonna kick that no more. Let me let that go. Look, y'all go check the song out, man. We gonna put this thing out. Y'all gotta learn to dance. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put out a how-to video of how to do the John Brown. Y'all gotta run the numbers up, learning how to do it. And then y'all gonna put up some videos. We gonna do like a video challenge. And we gonna show people how to dance, be happy, and be merry, and come together as one. That's the objective. Once again, I am the homie, no catch, and I'm going to sign this thing on off. With a big tinfo. Over and out. Peace and love. I want y'all to stay well and be blessed. And remember, this too shall pass. And the best is yet to come.